Today I want to talk about stock photos. This is something that um, some artists and crafters might not be real familiar with. I used to do some graphic design work years ago, so I'm extremely familiar with them. But you just don't see them talked about a lot or used a lot in the artsy craftsy world. And um, I don't know why, because they're really perfect for us. And I have a special offer for us from the awesome folks over at graphicstock.com. Okay, here's the thing. Let me explain what stock photos are. They are uh, photographs and illustrations that are made available online for you to use. They're royalty free, which means uh, that you can use them however you want, wherever you want, whenever you want, as many times as you want. You know, once you download it, it's yours to use. Stock photo sites uh, usually charge a fee for these photos, and the cost varies from site to site. Some will charge you per download, some will charge you uh, per month or, you know, a, a certain amount of time. Uh, they vary. Graphic Stock is one who does a monthly subscription thing, but the thing about it is you get unlimited downloads. Okay, they have thousands and thousands and thousands of photos and illustrations on their website available to you, which means you can download them all <laughs> if you so choose. <laughs> See, look at, look here. Just in the last 24 hours, 31,000 images have been downloaded. Okay, that's a lot, right? So uh, what we're looking at here is tons and tons and tons of images available to us to use in our artsy craftsy projects without having to worry about any kind of copyright infringement or anything like that. And they're available to us um, actually free for seven days. I'm going to tell you more about that at the end. So let me show you around the website a little bit if you're not familiar with stock photo sites and all of that. What you need to do is just run on over to graphicstock.com, set yourself up a little account, and as soon as you get that done, your free trial starts. And then what you do is you just start looking for stuff. You can go, okay, let's click here on Browse. You can sort by these different categories, you know, just to look at the, the general stuff that's available. You know the routine. But they also have these image categories. So you can go, for instance, into backgrounds. And let's say I'm looking for a vintage background. Click that, and then it's going to show you what they have, the images they have that are classified as vintage backgrounds. Kind of cool, huh? Let's check out design elements. I like design elements. I don't know what embellishments mean. Let's check that out. Oh, those are little flourishes and borders and things like that. Well, they have some really nice ones. Okay, here, here's what I like about graphicstock.com. I was instantly impressed with graphic stock because of the large number of illustrations they have. You know, these are things that we can use, right? And a lot of stock photo sites, you see, there's a lot of pictures of, of they're more like photographs of people and buildings and, and board meetings. And, you know, they're very much geared toward a, a workplace environment, which is great, which, you know, you really need in, in that kind of job. But for us artsy craftsy types, I don't need pictures of people in business suits at a board meeting. I just really can't think of anything creative to do with that. <laughs> I need bright colored borders. This is what I need. <laughs> and Graphic Stock has it. <laughs> they, they, they knew what we need without even knowing that we're even out there, really. <laughs> Let's say you're looking for something specific and you don't want to just browse categories. You can go up here to the little search bar. Let's search for 
a silhouette. Did I spell that right? Yes, a silhouette. I, these are something that I like to use um, quite frequently. And they have quite a few available. People, um, animals. These are fun to use too, like in journaling by fives for your focal image. Um, and that's really what I'm excited about with this uh, free trial of graphic stock is, is focal images for our journaling by fives project. So that's how you browse, that's how you find images. Now what do you do once you find one? Okay, you, you can hover over it and see a larger version. They do have a watermark on them, but once you download it, that will go away. What I usually like to do is add these to a light box. How you do that, okay, let me go ahead and add it to the light box so that I don't lose it. You can download it now, you can add to light box. And I already have a light box called People, so I'm going to add it there. If I want to make a new light box, I just click that one and put Save. So it's been saved. Light boxes, light boxes are like folders. That's basically all it is. It's just a folder where you can sort and organize your stuff and just hold on to it until you're ready to download it. So let's go to, I forget where, okay, my dashboard. This this is um, this shows you where all of your information is, your subscription information, your where you can browse. It shows you the newest images. It gives you your categories here, and then up here is all of your all of the links that you're going to need. Your profile, your billing, all all this. Um, you can see what you've downloaded. Here's where you find your light box. You click on it. If you want to add a new one, you click here and add a new one. I have added four of them, and I called them backgrounds, flora and fauna, people and objects. And they each have some images in them that um, I've added while browsing. So I just added that silhouette to the people light box. So let's go take a look. These are the images I've put in my people light box. And let's take a peek at the silhouette of a posing woman. Let's download her. All I do is click the download button. It will have, some of them have lots of different file formats available. Some have only one, a JPEG. I almost always choose a JPEG. Now if you have photo editing software, that's something you know how to do, you like to do, you want to download the Photoshop file, or, or one of the vector files, that's fine, go ahead. But for most of us, you know, average artsy craftsy folks, this JPG, that's the one you want. You can save it onto your computer or open it. And there is my silhouette of a posing woman. Downloaded, no watermark, ready to go. I can print her out, I can cut her out, and then I can use her in my projects, right? I don't know where my screen went. There it is. <laughs> okay. So, that's all there is to it. If you want to look at everything you've downloaded, you can click on My Downloads. And these are the ones that I have actually already downloaded. Y'all, they have some of the cutest owls backgrounds and all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh, and I'm really not an owl fan, but those are pretty dang cute, right? And easy to cut out. Things like this, I look for things that are easy to cut out because I don't like fussy cutting. Who likes that? Not me. These are easy to cut out. Now if it's a background that I'm not going to cut out, you know, then I don't mind a more intricate design. When you click on an image, it opens it up here. You can take your little cursor, and if you go over the image, look, it, it makes like a little magnifying glass. And you can really see all the details. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then you can like this image, you can rate it, you can share it. And when you do that, you know, it will open up on Facebook so you can share it on your, your own timeline, on a friend's timeline, in a group, such as Journaling by Fives. So when you find some really awesome images, you can share it on Facebook and tell everyone about it so that, you know, they can come get it too. Because you know how we like to know 
where everyone gets all their cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes it feels like there's a secret place where all of the crafty people get the cool stuff and we don't know what that secret place is. This is our secret place, but you know, we're not gonna keep it a secret because we're better than that. We're gonna share, right? Right, that's what we do. This video is actually a sponsorship, which is something that I rarely do. If you watch my videos, you know that I don't do that often. Occasionally I do accept free products from companies who um, ask me to use them and review them, and I do, and if I hate them, I say so. <laughs> but this is a paid sponsorship, and I am not a product pusher, you know. I, I, I don't want to be all about that, so I'm very choosy about um, accepting any kind of sponsorship when I'm approached with those. I did accept this one because of the images. They are um, really just kind of perfect for us. They're, like I said, lots of illustrations. Look at those owls. Are those not adorable? And these are things that you're just not going to see in a lot of other um, art journals out there. I Rarely do I see anyone working in an art journal using stock photography. You know, we use lots of images from magazines and and um, scrapbooking supplies, but not so much stock photos. So this is like a whole new resource for us to choose from with thousands and thousands of images. And they're available for free. Let's talk about that free thing. You go, you sign up, you make yourself an account, and then for seven days, you can download up to 20 free images per day. If you do choose to continue your subscription after your free trial, um, you will be billed for the $49, and that is not, there's not any kind of a contract, or, or you're not locked into anything. It's, it's month to month. You can cancel at any time. They do have some very awesome images for us to use, and you're going to be seeing a lot of these in some of my upcoming projects, especially journaling by fives, because you know, a lot of, I hear from a lot of people who have trouble finding images to use. Well, okay, problem solved. So, yeah, Graphic Stock gets the rare Shannon Green stamp of approval. Head on over there, browse through their thousands and thousands and thousands of photographs and illustrations. And, you know, like I said, I'm extremely impressed with the... Look! Oh man! I do like box. Okay, hang on. There we go. <clears throat> I am extremely impressed with their um, the huge variety of illustrations that they have. So start your seven day free trial. At the end of your seven days, uh, if you don't wish to finish out the month, you can cancel your subscription or you can continue for the rest of the month at $49 which you of course can cancel at any time they just make this really easy for us and uh, easy to search easy to browse lots to choose from free images I, I'm looking for the downside I'm not seeing it <laughs> Maybe I'll figure it out later, but uh, for now, it just is looking like a win for everyone. I'm going to finish picking out some images and downloading them. I'm going to fussy cut some of them. Others I'm just going to use as backgrounds, and then they are going to show up in some uh, projects later on. And, oh look, more owls. Which is going to be very exciting because it's... You know, these are going to be a, ugh. I really should, I need to stop browsing because I keep finding stuff that I absolutely have to have. Let's see, okay. I want that. Okay. Okay, quit, quit looking at the images, Shannon, and focus. Let me know what you find. Share some of your images on Facebook because, you know, there's a lot of them. A whole, whole lot of them here. And I just can't possibly... You know, search through all of them. You know, we're going to miss some. Even even 24 hours a day for seven days, we're going to miss some. So if you share it on Facebook, then 
we can all go and get the same cool images that you get so that we can all be cool together. That is all I have for today. So, on behalf of graphicstock.com, I don't know what else to say except the end.